How's it going, everybody? Welcome back into Earth Nerd. I am Bryce West, and today we're going to be talking about Common Rider Gabu Episode 7. So, uh, if you saw my community post, you know what's going on, but of course, this review is a few days late. Unfortunately, I had been feeling under the, under the weather the past few days, but I'm feeling a lot better now, so let's go ahead and get straight into things with Episode 7 here. So, Basically, we start things off where things left off. Gabu and Valen are having, or Valen are having a discussion <laughs> on a rooftop, and they're kind of freaking out over, oh, like, should I say this or should I say that? I don't want to reveal my identity. Is he human? Is he a granny? Blah 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 blah. blah. The back and forth. I thought it was a pretty fun uh, discussion. <laughs> I think. I think having these two sort of go around each other is, is going to be fun for a while. I hope they don't go the Don Brothers route where it's just the whole show. They don't know who each other are, but as as a bit for right now, I think it's pretty funny. So, so keep doing it for now, but eventually, I, and maybe 10, 15 episodes, I think reveal to each other who you are. But uh, regardless, uh, Shoma and Sachika are doing a job for Sachika's aunt, and Sachika's aunt is housing these two artists, and, I mean, let me know, like, somebody more knowledgeable than me in the comments, let me know, is this just a thing that happens in Japan where people are just like, you know, just come, come live in my home, I don't care, you know, I mean, Sachika did that with Shoma, her aunt did that with these two artists, so... I was like, hey, maybe maybe this is just a thing that I didn't know about, but <laughs> let me know. But but that happens, and and basically they're just aspiring artists trying to make it big, and I guess the aunt likes their art and is wanting to just give them a place to stay while they're trying to make it big. And basically they're just doing chores around the house or whatever. Sashka doesn't like the way Shoma does things, I guess, and decides to just have him stay home the next time. But then Hanto shows up to the house and is like, hey, I need you to do research on Kamen Rider. And Shoma's like, oh no, he wants me to do research on Kamen Rider. And then he's like, why do you want me to do research on Kamen Rider? And then Hanto's like, oh no, He's suspicious of something. He might think that I'm a common writer. And so they're both being suspicious and concerned about each other at the same time. And again, very, very comical. I, I like, <laughs> I, I, I do, I do like what, what, what is going on there. But eventually, uh, some person so shows up to the aunt's house and goes up to the, the girl because I, the, 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 the female artist has been having more success. While, while Shoma was there the last time, he, he liked her art, but then accidentally broke it because he thought it was a snack. But that made her happy, I guess, because <laughs> she figured something out the way that she wanted to do something. And this, this, uh, this person shows up and says, hey, I want to take you to this place. To show off your art or whatever and so she agrees and leaves which makes the 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 other guy jealous and, and he doesn't feel too good about that and then surprise it turns out that you know the person wanting to help the female artist is a grand new and ate her because <laughs> this, <laughs> this is what happens in this show <laughs> and and it's just weird to say out loud, <laughs> but, but, and then meanwhile, back at the house, Sachika is trying to cheer the other guy up and says, oh, hey, I love, I, I love your art piece. This is, this is actually really good. And I guess he didn't like that and, and threw paint in her face <laughs> and which made her obviously feel awful. And then that's pretty much where we leave off of them. And Shoma gets word from one of the Gojizos on patrol. By the way, he made them a house. A little cardboard hut. 
I guess it's cute, but but anyway, the 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 the, the Gochizo shows up and says, "Hey, there's something going on." He shows up to the art gallery and goes, "Yeah, I bet there is." Uh, and and this he shows the the art artist person shows up looking all suspicious, and Choma's like, "I know what's going on here," and then transforms. They do a dude. They do a little bit of a fight. And then Hanto shows up, they're not there anymore. And one of the other general people from Stomach Inc. show up. And so then she's talking with him and then Shoma and the monster are now fighting in a warehouse because that's just what happens in these shows. And he actually, he's not doing too well, but then one of the Gochizos literally walks up to the belt, opens up the belt, rips out the Gochizo that's already in there, says, it's my turn, <laughs> and then and then Shoma transforms into a new form, which is a chocolate-themed form. So Shoma has a chocolate-themed form, and now Hanto has a chocolate-themed form. So there's two writers with chocolate-themed forms, which initially I was like, man, I wish they would have just kept the chocolate-themed form to Hanto and have that be his special thing. Then Shoma transforms and I, man, they're cooking with these suits. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, it looks <laughs> spectacular. I mean, he is like a chocolate Western cowboy <laughs> theme writer and it is just absolutely ridiculous. And it looks just so <laughs> amazing somehow that he has a chocolate bar that turns into a gun and he, he, he starts shooting the monster and and of course you know new form which means all of a sudden he's just kicking butt <laughs> and and he, he after some really cool things happen he's able to just completely blow up the monster as usual and then we cut back to Hanto he transforms into Valen and gets ready to fight the general lady and then we cut to To Be Continued. This is our first sort of hard To Be Continued of the series. So this is going to be a multi-part thing going on here. So probably two-parter. But yeah, I, I enjoyed this episode like I've enjoyed most of the other episodes. I, I really like the new form. Again, I think it's a little weird that they both get chocolate forms, but they both look really cool. So I can't really complain too much. And yeah, I, I like seeing, you know, not just, you know, one episode, one episode, one episode. I like, like, I like that we're getting into multi-part stuff going on. And yeah, I, I really like what's going on in the show. I'm excited to see or interested to see how Sachika responds to the dude that threw paint in her face because I would have... I don't know what I would have done <laughs> if that had happened to me. So, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with all that there as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode of Common Rider Gabu. And definitely stay tuned for my review of this week's episode of Bakuwage Sentai Boom Boonger as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care.